Helium is a colorless, odorless, tasteless gas and the first in the noble gas group in the periodic table. Let's discover nine of its other characteristics. The atomic number of helium is two, meaning each atom of helium has two protons. There are nine known isotopes of helium, but only helium-3 and helium-4 are stable. After hydrogen, helium is the second most abundant and most lightest element in the universe. It represents 23% of the mass of the universe. Nevertheless, it is rare on Earth, and its concentration is low and fairly constant in our atmosphere. In fact, despite its continuous production, most helium escapes into space largely due to its light weight. Its boiling and melting point are the lowest among all the elements, so it only exists as a gas, except under extreme conditions. At normal pressure, helium is a liquid at absolute zero with amazing superfluid properties, flowing with zero friction up and over the walls of containers. Helium is inert and non-toxic, and among all the elements of the periodic table it is the second least reactive, and so does not form compound naturally. That's also why we can use it for balloon party without any risk. Unlike hydrogen, helium is monatomic under standard conditions. It is also considered the real gas that most closely approximates the behavior of an ideal gas. Most helium is obtained by extracting it from natural gas. Its uses include helium party balloons, as a protective inert atmosphere for chemistry storage and reactions, and for cooling superconducting magnets for MRI machines. Helium was discovered in the sun's atmosphere in 1868, before it was found on Earth. Lockyer and Franklin named the element with the Greek word for the sun, Helios. It is estimated that our sun produces an amazing 700 million tons of helium per second. Finally, the speed of sound in helium is nearly three times the speed of sound in air. Because the natural resonance frequency of a gas-filled cavity is proportional to the speed of sound in the gas, when helium is inhaled, a corresponding increase occurs in the resonant frequencies of the vocal tract, and we speak like a duck. So, what interesting facts have you learned today about helium?